Hi, everyone. I am live straight from Parc du Moulin. Kidding, I'm not calling from Parc du Moulin. But you have to love the image, right? You got to love it. Absolutely. My name is Linda. I'm your back in the groove again coach. And this picture was actually taken from Parc du Moulin, which is in Rockland, uh, on uh, yesterday when I went for my walk. I've been going for walks twice a week lately, trying to get back in shape, trying to get active again. So I thought I'd do a very quick live uh, to introduce you to my new series. You know, I love doing series. So one of the last series that I did was on sex in our 60s. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> and, and when I came back from Mexico in March, I did the, uh, what was it called? It was a 14-day series because I had to be in self-isolation. I think it was called the self-isolation series. Anyways, this new series is about things that I wish I knew back then. And you can imagine why. You know, when you get a certain age, you think back of things that you've done in the past or things that you've gone through in the past, and you think, God, if I, if I only knew then what I know now. <laughs> so this series is going to be all about things that I wish I knew back then. And for this first really quick video, the one thing that I want to share uh, with you is one of the things that I wish I knew back then would have been, well, you don't do a bachelor and match master's program while taking care of your young kids. I think they were grade one and grade three back then. And working part time, which meant afternoons and nights and days at a psychiatric hospital. That's one thing that I wish I would have known back then um, not to do that. And I'll tell you why. You know, at the time, I, I I was a single parent. I've been, you know, I was a single parent for most of my children's life. When I split up from my second husband, and you're going to say, okay, is that something else you learned? Yes, it is. But I'll talk about that some other time. <laughs> when I split up from my second husband, my children were 16 months and two and a half or three and a half years old so they were they were kids and at that time uh, I decided to go back to school and it was because you know where I was working I was working in a police station at the time and I was as a I was a safety officer dressed in a uniform really responsible position and I remember Teaching at the time, it was the uh, stranger program where I would go into the schools and teach about safety. But this particular program was about stranger safety. And I remember one of the young girls disclosed to me that she had been abused. And I, the only thing I could do uh, was report it to the school principal because I wasn't a police officer. Although I had a uniform, I was a civilian. And my sergeant says, you just got to report it to the school principal. So I felt really helpless at the time. And that's when I decided, screw this, excuse the language. I got to do something more to help people, to help children. And so I decided to uh, make a decision and leave my job. So I gave a notice and at that time I had already taken one course in my bachelor program, but I decided to leave my job, move to my hometown. So I was originally from this hometown and go to school full time. That's what I decided to do, but it meant that I had to uh, get a job. So that's when I started working in psychiatry. I got a job as a child and youth worker. My kids were little, and I started going to school full time. And if I knew back then that it was going to be a crazy, how many years? Well, I went to school, did my master's. Hi. 
who is joining me. Thank you for joining me. So you could type your name in the chat box. And I might not be able to read it because guess what? I don't have my reading glasses on. It might help. Hang on. That might help. Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. So where was I with my story? Um, <laughs> I've lost track of my story. But yeah, I went to school at that time. I did my mass, my bachelor, and right away after that, I did a master's program. That was my first master's in child and human development. And then right after that, I did a bachelor of education. So I graduated from teachers college at the time. So I did four, five, six, you know, almost seven years in a row while my kids were growing up and while I was working part-time at the psychiatric, psychiatric hospital. So part-time meant night shift, day shift, mostly on weekends, uh, which meant having to find babysitters, right? So if I knew back then what I now know after seven years of going through that school, I probably wouldn't have done that <laughs> because it was crazy busy. Uh, I didn't have enough time to take care of my kids properly. I didn't have enough time to concentrate really on my studies. I remember um, I remember marathon weekends. Kids are outside playing. I'm staying in my room working on an assignment. You know, I had to do that a lot. And, of course, having to work on weekends, coming back from a night shift, being crazy tired you know, sleeping on the couch while the kids are playing around. It was crazy. So all in all to say that in this particular series, I'm going to talk about things that I wish I would have known back then. And uh, I'm starting it off with letting you know a little bit about me. I think it's a great way for you to get to know me as well. So definitely I would not have combined those three things at the same time. Uh, raising my young, young children at the time, going to school, oh, by the way, full-time, right? Going to school full-time and working part-time night shift and afternoon shift. I would have not have done that. So tell me, you can add your comments in the chat box, what is one thing that you wish you would have known back then? Let's have fun with this. And so I'll see you Wednesday. I have a scheduled live on Wednesday. I'll see you Wednesday for another thing that I wish I would have known back then. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks again for being here. I'm looking forward to hearing what you wish you would have known back then. And these are all things that we could share because you know what? As we get older and wiser and more experienced, uh, everything that we've done in the past shapes us. Like I truly, truly believe that there are no regrets whatsoever but these are also things that we could share maybe to give a heads up for you know for certain women that guess what it's going to be challenging you're going to need some support in other words around this because while I was doing what I was doing while I was in school and taking care of my kids and, and working part-time I didn't have a lot of support so that's that made it you know even more difficult all right, everybody, that's it for this live, this impromptu live. My name is Linda. I'm your Back in the Groove Again coach, and I'm looking forward to seeing you on Wednesday at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time for another part of this series. Bye now. See you soon.